Seriously, man. She's been throwing them out the window since she's been. Are you for real? Yeah, she's right here in the window. They got her locked in the bedroom and they won't let her out. Please help. What does this one say? Oh. Does, oh my god, look how many of them. And look at all these little Man! Things. This girl found notes thrown out of a window, asking for help and to call 911. Keep watching to hear the full story. Hi, um, my name's Sydney. I am the person who filmed this video. I live next door to the house where this situation took place. To explain the notes, started out, my neighbors um, were sitting on the steps of my front porch. They saw some pieces of paper from afar, but they didn't think much of it at first. Then the homeowner next door actually got into his car and he left. He was seen leaving, so that's when they actually got up and started to walk over to the notes and see exactly what they were and right as they were doing that a woman came to the window it was just a little bit open at the time and she explained that the cops need to be called immediately because she has been held hostage so that is when the cops were called i did not start filming at all until i knew the police were on their way and that one clip in this video of us reading the notes out loud to each other that actually didn't happen until after the cops got the woman and left while we were waiting for the police officers to arrive um, she explained to us that she was offered a room for rent at this house and she accepted and then when she got up to the room um, she was barricaded in and she was not let out she said that she'd been in there for five days she had no food no medication um, she had a bunch of mouse and bug bites all over her she had to use the restroom in a bucket she actually showed us the bucket um, that she was using we assumed that nobody was home at this house because we had seen the homeowner leave so we were assuming that's why she felt comfortable enough to talk to us through the window so the police officers get there um, they speak to her through the window for a little bit and then they go knock on the door and I'm thinking no one's gonna answer the door because no one's home after about two minutes uh, another woman did come down and she answered the door and she let the police officers in and then um, the police officers ended up telling us when they came back outside that they walked upstairs and once they got to the hallway the woman who was in the bedroom was just standing in the hallway and they told us that she tried to explain to them and the other people in the house unbarricaded the door and made it look like she was not being held hostage. She showed them the bucket. She showed them everything that she was explaining to us. They uh, pretty much came to the conclusion that she was having a, um, a mental episode. The police officers took the woman to a crisis center um, to be evaluated. They did not take any evidence. They didn't take the notes. They didn't even really look at the notes. They did not speak to the homeowner. He actually did not come back the whole time that the cops were there. They didn't really talk to us as neighbors to see what we had to say about the situation either. We kind of tried to explain to the cops like our view of the situation, but they were pretty much dead set and they just thought that she was having a mental episode and that she really wasn't being held hostage at all. That's like something you see in a crime drama. You do not expect that to happen right down your street. Now, Sydney also told us that unfortunately, because she didn't know the woman's name, she's not been able to find out what actually happened and what the story is. Whatever happens, we hope she's safe and well. Thanks for watching It's Gone Viral and don't forget to send in your videos to be in with a chance of earning $250 if featured.